Hello my friends, this lecture is focused on uh, acyclovir as a treatment of uh, varicella. So there are a few questions that I would like to answer and that uh, would actually uh, clear the doubt in your mind. So usually the very first question asked is what is the recommended antiviral drug for pediatric patients with uncomplicated varicella or chickenpox? Like in, in, in other words, if the child presents with varicella or chickenpox, and if you want to treat it, what is the drug of choice? What is antiviral drug of choice? So the answer is a cyclovir. So the only antiviral drug available in liquid formulation for children that is licensed for pediatric use is known as a cyclovir. Now, normally a cyclovir therapy is not routinely recommended for uncomplicated uh, chickenpox um, because these children are um, healthy. And usually, the acyclovir, uh, if, even if you use in these children, it has only got some marginal benefit. The other thing is the cost of the drug. It's a costly drug. And you know that in healthy children, there is always a low risk of complications. So normally, healthy children with uncomplicated varicella are not treated with acyclovir. Okay. Then the question comes, then when should we start treatment with acyclovir in case if it is uncomplicated varicella? Now, remember, in case if you decide that you have to initiate treatment of varicella in a child who is otherwise healthy or in other words a child who has got uncomplicated varicella chickenpox the acyclovir treatment should be preferably started within 24 hours of the onset of rash so if a child comes with the varicella rash within 24 hours you have to start it for best results but usually they say that you get the uh, good benefits in case if you start within the 72 hours of the onset of rash. So for best results within 24 hours, but usually for good results within 72 hours. So that is the answer. Now, another question is in which individuals is acyclovir uh, recommended uh, in case if a child has got uncomplicated varicella? Because I just told you that normally we do not use is cyclovir in uncomplicated varicella. Now, normally, if you have to start, the usual oral therapy is 20 milligrams per kilograms of body weight. So you have to weigh the child and give him a, in a dose of 20 milligram to uh, 20 milligram per kg of body weight to a maximum of 800 milligram. You should never go above 800 milligram. And this 800 milligram or whatever the dose comes to be over like, you know, 20 milligram per kg, that has to be divided uh, in, in four doses. So you have to divide like for example if the max dose is 800 you have to give 200 milligram qds and that should be given uh, for a minimum of five days and this is for uncomplicated uh, varicella in children who might be at risk of developing complications and these are usually uh, i would say non-pregnant uh, individuals older than 12 years of age so for example if a 15 16 year old adolescent girl okay non-pregnant uh, they can be given or if a child is above 12 months of age and has got uh, let's say some underlying skin problem in which they can lead to a very severe uh, varicella rash for example chronic cutaneous disorder especially those children who have got a very bad eczema so otherwise they are healthy but they are a, may have got a bad eczema and if they are greater than 12 months of age and they've got uncomplicated varicella you can use a cyclovir in a dose of 20 milligram per kg body weight so this uh, you know these are a few indications in which you can start a cyclovir therapy uh, in uncomplicated varicella now the question is uh, what uh, are the complications of uh, varicella that might require intravenous a cyclovir because another formulation which we use in very uh, in varicella is intravenous a cyclovir now where do we use it now, intravenous acyclovir is used for severe disease or severe varicella. And severe varicella can occur in immunocompromised people. So, somebody who has got some primary immunodeficiency disorder or has got secondary immunodeficiency either in the form of either they are HIV positive or let's say they are on long-term um, long steroid use for any reason. Like, for example, if a child is asthmatic or has got GIN and is on long-term steroid use, so then in that particular case, if they come up with varicella, you can use intravenous A cyclovir in those uh, kids. And again, in... Uh, this is the only, I think, condition in which you can start a intravenous acyclovir even after 72 hours of the rash. 
So I told you that in case if you have to use oral acyclovir in uncomplicated varicella for best results, it has to be started within 24 hours or you know within 72 hours. But this is the only uh, condition in, if that is intravenous acyclovir that in immunocompromised individuals, if needed, it can be started even after uh, 72 hours. So a patient who has got like disseminated uh, varicella zoster, severe bad uh, varicella zoster, uh, or has got potential complications like, for example, pneumonia, you know, staphylococcal pneumonia can occur, though not very common, but can occur in the varicella, or who's got severe uh, hepatitis, or has got thrombocytopenia leading to hemorrhagic varicella, or has got, uh, let's say, encephalitis, has got vomiting, and has got seizures with that, so they should be immediately started on intravenous acyclovir. So normally, IV acyclovir is given in a dose of 10 milligram per kg body weight, uh, but some books, uh, they actually mention it in the form of uh, uh, body surface area. And if you're using the body surface area, then the dose is 500 milligram for every meter uh, square of the body surface area. And that has to be given a TDS, like every eight hours, you have to give 500 milligram per square meter of the uh, body surface area within 72 hours of, uh, you know, uh, preferably within 72 hours of the development of the rash or even in case if the child uh, has is immunocompromised and it needs to be started you can start it even after 72 hours then usually another question which is asked is like uh, what other drugs like for example is there any drug apart from a cyclovir that can be used to treat varicella in older children let's say who can swallow like for example children who are 12 years or uh, above so another uh, drug that can be used is vela cyclovir or femicyclovir so these are the two other medications velocyclovir and femicyclovir they can be used in older children who can swallow tablets because these drugs are uh, they come in tablet formulation they're not available in liquid formulation and they are highly act active against uh, varicella uh, virus by the same mechanism on which the acyclovir uh, works and they are better absorbed uh, through the oral route as compared to acyclovir so velocyclovir is given in a dose of 20 milligram per kg maximum you have to give 1000 milligram uh, per dose and that is going to be given uh, three times a day so velocyclovir is 20 milligram per kg tds to a maximum of 1000 milligram per dose and that has to be given tds for five days uh, in children who are let's say between uh, two years to uh, less than 18 years of age and uh, in adults, well, both these drugs are, uh, you know, are licensed for treatment of RP zoster, like the secondary uh, activation of varicella virus. So this was uh, a short video on the use of acyclovir and uh, in oral as well as in IV formulation and some of the other medications that are available to treat varicella. I hope that has addressed your uh, queries uh, regarding the treatment of varicella, especially uh, in terms of uh, acyclovir and some of the other medications that can be used for that so if you've liked this video gives me a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't and have a good day take care bye bye